Hey, what's going on, everybody? I want to do a short, quick video here on my two aloes bags. This is the large. As you can see, it's like a tank. Excuse the mess in the background. We're at home in the backyard. We reached 105 degrees two days ago. Yesterday, we were at 102 degrees Fahrenheit, and today, we're supposed to reach 102 degrees again. Which, to me, anything above 95 is no bueno, no good, you know? This bag is the medium, and I'm still doing some work on it, but we'll get to it. I'm not going to go into the specifics of the bags, the sizes, and what have you too much. I'm just going to go over my mods and what I've used them for, and we're going to get away on this. And this bag, it does not have a lot of stuff in it. I believe this is some extra sofis, extra socks. Uh, it does not have food, does not have water, even though I have two canteens, but they're empty. I have two canteens on the sides. They should be empty. Yeah, they are. And they do have the canteen cups. And they should have the lids. I'm over here now. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, see, I have a two one quart canteens on each side. I do have a one canteen that's a two quart one, the collapsible one. You can mount it on here on the side as well. Uh, let's see. Let's. This one, I have one more mod I want to do to it for sure. And that's down here for some reason. Maybe the drain holes, you know, maybe you guys can let me in on that. But I want to seal it. I want to sew it. I want to go borrow one of my mom's sewing machines and sew the three little pockets on the large Alice pack. Because there's a little hole here. So I got to stick stuff that won't fall out of there. Like here, I forget what I have. It's a little small multi-tool, a little Winchester flashlight. And it does work. Two cheap carabiners. And I believe this these should be binos. Oh no, it's a headlamp. With extra batteries. Oh, this is one of those cheap headlamps that has a lot of throw. I mean these things throw like this is my these are my cheap our cheapest headlamps and they work better than our most expensive headlamps. I mean, they have a throw like you wouldn't believe it. That's one of the mods I want to do is sew these three little pockets right here in the bottom. And the other mod is I want to put this as a handle. I don't remember where I got this. And put it as a handle up here, you know, on the top, like just to pick up the bag. I don't care about the colors. You know, I can always spray paint it, camo it, or what have you. So... Let me get your weight on this thing and then I'll show you one more or less what's in there because it doesn't have anything to it. I've had up to between 50 to 65 pounds. I've used it on three day excursions. Uh, the last time was between Silver City, New Mexico and Arizona. That's like mid upstate to New Mexico and then way on the west. Uh, we spent a few nights out there. I've used it for hunting, for fishing, for two, three day camping excursions. It's the bomb. I mean, I can take everything I want. And you know, I'm not weight cautious. So we're going to put it on pounds. Whoops, units. Pounds. This is just to give you a rough idea, guys. What a... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Look at that. We're at... I don't know if you can see that. We're just under 40 pounds. <laughs> I'll put this down. We're just under 40 pounds and there's no food and water. Ugh. And you know the way you put this backpack on is you put it on the ground like this. You guys should know. You grab it from the frame and you toss it over your head and slip your arms into the shoulder straps. Oh yes, you saw all of this, huh? Yes, it's been mod, modded, and it's not finished being modded. I did replace those, uh, the strap keepers that come with this because they're like, oh, they just take forever. So I just put some snap, you know, some plastic clips, and it just makes it more convenient, and you can cinch it down, tighten it down, and then when you got want to get in the back, just snap it bang you're good there we go so see i have a saw here 
with its own scabbard. It's a fixed blade saw. I have a small uh, pry bar. Just under 40 pounds. Man, maybe I've carried more than 65 pounds and I don't even know it. These, I'm still going to modify the pockets too. I'm going to put clips. I got to put a big bag full and take these off because these, these are a nuisance. I will leave these, the snaps. See over here, I have a, oh, a rat trap. Some wire ties and some paracord. And this is not, this is, I've already taken a bunch of stuff out, guys. I, I don't think I have food in here. I might, I don't know, but uh, this is a rain jacket, it's a very nice Columbia, I believe, rain jacket, with a hood of course, very well vented, I got some friends that work for North Face, so I hope they're not gonna, they're not watching this video, uh, this is a little eye pack pouch, and there's TP and moist towelettes, and toilet paper in it. Very accessible. Of course, you saw that two one quart canteens. They have the cups and they should have the lids. But like I said, this bag's not like ready for me to grab right now and go. Like I would need to go through it and what have you. There's little kits in here. Here's a camo bandana, 100% cotton. Oh, one of those lights from. Uh, it does work. From uh, Harbor Freight. And in this other case. Oh, got a bunch of spare batteries. I gotta check these batteries. And I shouldn't have them. Excuse me. I shouldn't have them all just laying around like that. I don't know why I have them like that. We do have battery keepers. But I think the last time I came from that outing, I just took the stuff out that I needed to wash the canteens and threw the bag on the floor and left it there. More paracord. See, it's not organized at all. You have some Tums, diarrhea, ibuprofen, buffered aspirin actually, because you shouldn't be taking ibuprofen right now with this COVID. You got uh, cotton swabs for your ears. Got gum in there. Cow, that cow, utter smooth, utterly smooth, like hand lotion. That's it. So, well, I was surprised with the weight on this bag, guys. If we're just under 40 pounds, I mean, I can imagine with all the food I carry, because I've carried up to three, four days worth of food. I know I'm going over 60 pounds a season. But you know what? Believe it or not, I heard the outdoor gear review guy, Luke, he loves this pack, but he does not have these mods on it. So he says that he, he can't put too much weight because it's very uncomfortable. Well, yeah, I get it with the original shoulder straps and the original kidney belt. Yeah, I wouldn't carry this either. But with this belt and these shoulder straps, I mean, those 60 pounds, whatever I carried in here, like nothing. I mean, it is super, super comfortable. As you can see, I got room in here. I believe, I don't know what that is. Might be a t-shirt or a shirt. And this is just like a little pillow. I know I've stuck some uh, 55 gallon bags there also, contractor bags. So this has a chest strap and of course the kidney belt that's been modified so this way you can carry it and it's super 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 comfortable I don't care how much weight you put on it uh, let me see what else we can check in here let's check the other little pockets in there I got oh, a gorilla tape the one inch roll it's pretty stuck in there brand new Brand new. We'll leave it in there. I've had this bag for quite a while. This is probably one of my oldest bags, if not 
mild effect. So here we go, in this little bucket. We got some playing cards, writing pad. We got the Last Testament, because you gotta carry the word and read it. I believe these are N95 masks. Let me see. No, these are trash liners. It's probably one large trash liner or several trash liners. Got a pen in there, I'm a Sharpie actually. And then we go to the other, there's that eye pack with toilet paper and white wipes. There's another eye pack pouch, not the box, the pouch. More toilet paper, matches, a strap, two straps, and a cheap uh, sharpener. These are waterproof matches. So I tell you, it's very disorganized. Uh, Sometimes when we're coming back from one of those islands, we just like throw everything in the bag. Let's get out of here. We already went through that bag. We went through that bag. Did we go through this one? Guys? Yeah, the red trap. And then this little pouch over here. I don't ask me what it is or where I got it, but it did come with Molly. We got another bandana. Hoglands fuel tablets. They work. There's some Esbit tablets. And there's an extra knife. This is a Frost from Frost Cutlery Show. Very nice knife. G10 handles. And there's a little touch here and there's electrical tape. A brand new roll of electrical tape. Here's another canteen. There's a canteen cup with a lid. Told you they had lids. It's... The canteens have been washed though. Um... Oh, the map pouch. I don't know what's in the map pouch, guys. There should be like gloves, a flashlight, a cap. What do you know? Look. Two pairs of gloves. The other glove is inside of each glove. Look. There's a glove inside of that glove. There's a glove inside of this one. This is pigskin. And these are those Harbor Freight cheap ones. There's a boonie hat. A very nice Gore-Tex. So this is, would be like for winter. Very nice boonie hat, man. And here's some more gloves. The cheap ones. You can, these are very well used and dirty as... You know what? Okay, roll that back in there. And see, this is in very good condition. Most of these bags, you get them and all this is all messed up. Very good condition. I think the people I bought it from a long time ago, they worked with me, with me so well, so. And I didn't pay that much for it. These are getting very expensive. Like I said, I think these are, yeah, I think these are Sophie's in underwear. Something like that. Maybe not, because there's these are Sophie's and socks. Sophie's and underwear. Sophie's and socks. So what is in here? We'll find out later. I still have food in here, guys. See, I forgot how to open this. Okay, press this tab, and then you pull. Yeah, I might modify this one too. I got food in here. Look, this has like water flavors, teas, lemonades, creamers, sugars, coffees. Candies. Hamari heaters. Long ass plastic straw, MRE spoon. One of my favorite stoves, remember the Coughlin? The sterno stoves, but I use it with wood. I have these all over my packs. And this is a broken Ranger band from a big inner tube. 
uh, it's all patched. Or use it as Tinder or something. A lot of napkins. You can double as TP. And these are, I'm not gonna open these up. These are broken up MREs. These can carry a lot of MREs. One, there's one, two, there's a lot of them in here. There's about, I bet you there's like at least three full. You're eating three meals a day, full meals a day. At least three days worth of meals. Pepper, salts, ketchup, more candy, a bunch of little plastic grocery trash bags in case we need to carry something out, wrap it, carry, take it out. Wow. I don't want to have that in there. I want to go through the food and eat it. All of this back in there somehow. If it was in there, it's got to go back in. Spoon. Eaters. Don't give up on me, guys. Hold on. I know it's boring, but hold on. Just chill out. Okay. The major big compartment here. There's a bunch of stuff in Ah, uh, let's see real quick. Man, we're already in 16 minutes. Okay, this is first aid. We got quick clot. We got triple antibiotic, burn cream. We have uh, gauzes, uh, mouth protector if you need to give mouth to mouth. We have, we have it. a lot of hand sanitizer. Oh my God, there's one, two, three little bottles of hand sanitizer. I don't know, a toothbrush, another Sharpie, bug repellent. More bug repellent, got more tape and band-aids. Bayer aspirin. Wow. This, uh, I don't know why it's in a, I'm gonna get a, put a cross on, a red cross like I do or something, cause you can't tell this is a first date. I didn't even remember. And you should be able to pull it out and see what it is right away. There's a huge, there's two tarps way at the bottom. He, those cheap ones. This one's huge, I know that. This one's not that big. There's some knee pads. There's more socks. Socks are very important. I tell you, because I use this uh, on long excursions and... You need to change your socks, man. I've changed them sometimes twice a day. So I have like one, two, three, at least three pairs right there. And I have a water, a condor water bottle. Ouch. And this is probably a kit in its own. There's a spork, fires, uh, pearl rod. This is a I can't remember the name brand of this uh, German company. A Linder, Linder knife. It's a knockoff of one of the bucks, but Linder, uh, they've been making knives for quite a long time. And I did have a Ranger band here, now I gotta put it back. And here, I have a strap, I have a paracord, I have a multi-use knife, it's a Swiss Army knockoff, you know. Oh, there's the, the little rods that I put through my volcano stoves, because I believe that's a Swiss Army volcano stove. Got some duct tape, waterproof matches, wet fire. And there's still air in that bag, so you know it's still good. And this, I don't know what's in here. More duct tape. There's duct tape and a little and a little screw thing here. See? And some plastic bags. And then there's duct tape and a credit card or an old card or something right there. And this strap. Where did we get the strap? It didn't come out of there. So, okay, oh, it came out of here. Yeah, you see these little things? They, I made them for something. We'll find out right now. I 
I know it's probably for the... There's got to be a Swiss Army stove in here. See, so I have a lot of redundancies. I have the Sterno stove in here and I have this one. Maybe I should. Since I'm getting older. Maybe take one of them out, you know? I wouldn't doubt it if I have an Esbit stove somewhere that we haven't gotten to. <laughs> See, it's another grocery plastic bags. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I wonder if there's water in this container. Oh, oh, look, I modified this one with a rubber cork. It's still the original bottle. I don't like. I didn't like this because it makes. I don't know that it's bad for you. But it does taste, make the water taste like rubber. It works great. Better than the cork it came with, but. So. Put that back in. Don't worry about that later. Just stick it in there for now. Because I'm going to do some mods for this, for this thing. This bag. I don't know what's in here, guys. Put that ranger band back in. It's probably like a multi-use bag. There's a $100 bill cotton rag. Okay. Wish it were all real. Oh, this is that liner that you put inside of the bag and you fold it and it's waterproof. And it's, it's got some heft to it. Some more paracord, fox. We've got some keepers, little keepers here. These are not used that often anymore, but they work. I got a bungee cord. I got several bungee cords. More straps, canvas straps, more bags. And there's a bunch of stuff in here I can probably do away with. Put the handle in there that I will be installing. But yeah, that's, a, that's it for that bag, guys. Sorry it took so long. And like I said, I'm not gonna go into the specifics of the bags because this is like the Condor Bush lore. So many videos on these bags and they give you very good details about them some of the guys are actually ex-military so they they know more about them they can explain it better than i can so what i love is now that you can just you know clip and then these you can just stick back in here this is i can't believe this is just under 40 pounds and it's doesn't even have water. It's got food. I didn't think it had food. It doesn't have a lot of the other. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm going to redo the bag. Do a video about that. I'm going to scoot over a little bit. Do we scoot over a little bit? She's going to get her U joints repaired. Replaced actually today Well, I have to replace them because I, I do the work yesterday. I fixed one of my other Fords I saw the master cylinder bled the brakes Because uh, here in Texas we need a state inspection sticker every year So I did replace the wiper blades as well their air filter And I had just bought, bought brand new tires for it so and Then I got a my mom's Dodge truck, I gotta go replace the harmonic balancer because the harmonic balancer just flew off. I already got one in, so I'm gonna go replace it. Later today, this afternoon, when it gets cooler. Okay, this is a medium Alice, guys. See, it doesn't have the little pockets on top. And uh, very good condition. The guy said it was practically new. And these pockets should be empty because I haven't, I'm still working on this one. So I really haven't used it. 
See, so I have another one of those handles I want to put up here for the frame just to pick it up. And I have some extra webbing straps. Because uh, I'm still working on this. I did also replace these buckles with quick, quick release. Eh? Just like that other one. And I haven't done much to the inside. Oh, well, on the inside, let me show you what I got. And the inside, I have the shoulder straps, which I have not attached, obviously. But I am going to. And you see, this one's more beat up. The map case on the inside, it's got little holes and it's a little bit more rotted or beat up, what have you. I love these packs so man. They're like they're like my truck over there. They could just take a beating and keep on going. This so convenient man having these clips. I'm also gonna replace the ones here. I don't know about these because you just snap them and they're good to go. I don't know. So and look here, you can see I uh, I did put one of these uh, kidney belts. So as a matter of fact, yeah, it's a little bit different shape than this one. But um, yeah, I see in this, it's army issue, government issue. So that's it, guys. I mean, this pack still has a ways to go. Something in here. Let's see what it's in there. Let's see what is in there. Let's see what's in there. A strap. And some buckles. Oh, you know what? Because I think. What happened? I ordered something and one of the buckles, the big buckles, was broken, so I replaced it. But yeah, there it is. Quick rundown on my Alice packs. And then. Uh, we're gonna go try to do some shooting this week. So I can show you my, I got my new setup. I'll show it to you. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Athena's very hot, because it is very hot out here. Where is she? She's right there. Athena! Say hi. Very, very, very hot. She's got a lot of shade though in her dog run. It's about a 12 by 100 dog run. So it's not a small dog run. Hey, you guys be safe out there. Thanks for all of your support. Talk to you later.